Today I will show you a few different ways how to saturate your footage and why each one is suited best for different situations. Now first off, I'm going to show you the most common way to saturate in DaVinci Resolve and that is in the primaries color wheels tab. Here you go down to sap and you can up the saturation. Now my footage is already pretty saturated so I don't need to go this far, but this is one way you can saturate. So maybe you don't want your saturation to clip over here. So a second thing you can do, this is another way to saturate your footage, but it's called the color boost. It's basically like vibrance if you've ever used Photoshop. And what it does, it takes the colors that are desaturated and makes them more saturated. You can see the more saturated colors stay the same, but the less saturated colors are made more vibrant. So that is the second way to saturate your footage. This next way I'm gonna show you how to saturate your footage, I made a video on already, but you can watch that after. Here I'm just gonna show you very quickly what it does. So you go to channels, you turn off channel one, you turn off channel three, you go to color space and you select HSV. Now, it doesn't look like it did anything, but if you go to the gain wheel and you bump it up a little bit, you start to see that it's saturating your footage, but it's doing it in a special way. You can see the more saturated colors get deeper and richer and more dark. And what this is called is subtractive color saturation. Basically what this does, it makes the more saturated colors more rich and it looks more natural. It's kind of how film saturates because when film is exposed, the color crystals open up, it makes it more dense and that denseness makes it darker. And this is the third way. And if you don't like how it's saturating the whole thing, you can go to the gamma and this kind of acts like the color boost where it boosts the colors that are less saturated while also keeping the colors that are already saturated at a more neutral level. And you can see the more saturated colors kind of stay the same while the colors that are less saturated get more saturated. But I forgot to add a node before this which is the tint and temperature node. So if you want to learn how to do that, I'll put the video up next here. And if you haven't seen how to add exposure or contrast, I recommend doing that first before adding saturation. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Click here to watch the next video.